Tales of Tomorrow. Presented by Maslin, Beauty Blend Broadway. Tonight's Tale of Tomorrow, All the Time in the World. Starring Esther Ralston with Don Handler. Good evening. A few weeks ago, I was telling you about a trip I took down to the Maslin Carpet Mills in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, remember? One of the things that impressed me most down there was that it seemed to be such a good place to work. Everybody seemed to like their jobs. Well, the Maslin Carpet Mill is a big modern one, very pleasant place to work, but it just seemed to me that there ought to be more to it than that. So I did a little poking around, and I think I've got the answer. It's right here in the shuttle, the magazine put out for and by the people that work in the Maslin Carpet Mills. I'd like to read it to you. Recently, Mr. Maslin wrote, an understanding mind is a priceless possession. From it spring tolerance, appreciation, friendliness, not only the will to work together, but the ability to do it. It is my hope and prayer that you and I, who work together, will always understand the problems that accompany our working together. And I believe we will. I think we find, working together for our common aims as we do, that we're all just about the same under the skin. The big difference between the fellow in the shop and the one in the office is that one wears out his shoes first and the other the seat of his pants. Well, now, I guess maybe that explains the feeling I got at the Maslin Mill that people find it a good place to work. And now C.H. Maslin and Sons are proud to present Act One of tonight's Tale of Tomorrow, All the Time in the World, starring Esther Ralston. Sit down. I'll be with you in just a moment. Uh, Miss Ratter, I'm afraid I can't let you in that little, uh, that little venture that we discussed yesterday. I'd happen to say that that uh, stock issue has been completely oversubscribed. There just isn't any room for you. What? Oh, now, Mr. Ranter. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, another time, perhaps. Yes. Well, well goodbye. Oh. Oh. Now, madam, what can I do for you? If you're putting on this act to impress me, Mr. Judson, forget it. Just so we both know where we stand, let's get this straight from the beginning. I know what your business is, and I know that this office is merely a blind for, shall we say, more profitable activities. Oh, don't look so virtuous. I'm not trying to blackmail you. I want you to do some work for me. And it's because you are, well, what you are, that we can do business. Oh, sure, I don't know what you mean. Shall My business and investment... I haven't much time. I know your reputation. I know you wouldn't hesitate to double-cross your own mother if you thought it would put a dollar in your pocket. Well, now, just a minute. But I need you, Mr. Judson. A hundred thousand dollars, Mr. Judson, and plenty more where that came from. I'm prepared to pay for the work I want you to do for me. Where'd you come from? Who sent you here? Where I came from is my own affair. But you were recommended to me by Legs Fuller. Oh! <laughs> Legs! Well! Why didn't you say so? Well, okay. Where'd you get it? It's the best looking queer I've seen in years. Queer? Now, don't you put on the act. Queer, counterfeit. My dear Mr. Judson, if you will look at those carefully, you'll see that they are perfectly all right. Well, it'll take some pushing to get these things through, but I think that we can manage it. Uh, what's the uh, layout? Mr. Judson, these notes came from the United States Treasury within the last hour. 
However, if you are not interested. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait a minute. I, I, come on, sit, sit down. Don't get all upset. Uh, um, what's the uh, proposition? Just this, Mr. Judson. Here is a list of objects I want you to obtain for me. You being a man of some education and background, mm -hmm. will be familiar with most of them. Well, now, if you want me to steal something for you, that's not my life. I don't care whether you do it or get mm -hmm. someone to do it for you. I know you have plenty of connections in the field. Cezanne? Picasso? Van Gogh? <laughs> well, now, how in the world do you expect me to get these things for you? Don't just walk into the city's largest museum and tuck a, a Rembrandt under your arm. Well, these things are worth millions. My dear Mr. Judson, I know exactly what I'm asking. And I'm prepared to give you not only the money, but the means. Well, it's impossible. I can't produce a, a miracle. But perhaps I can. If I can supply you with the means of obtaining the things on my list, with no danger to yourself, will you accept my proposition? Well, I might. Have you noticed anything peculiar in the last few minutes? Oh, not particularly, except what you've been saying. It's the most peculiar thing I've ever heard. Have you noticed how quiet it has become? Yes, it is quiet. Go to stop. What's happened? Go to the window. Everything stopped. I don't get it. My fan stopped. The clock, too. Nothing's moving. What's happened? What have you done? Here is your answer. Call it an accelerator. When this switch is on, it creates a five-foot circular field. Within this five-foot circle, time is speeded up to an almost unbelievable pace. But the world outside the circle remains unchanged. Time is flowing at its normal rate. Here in this field, you are living almost a million times as rapidly. This little talk of ours hasn't yet reached a fraction of a second. So is it surprising that by comparison, the world outside seems to have come to a stop? Fantastic. This switch turns the field on and off. That's all there is to it. While you are wearing this bracelet, you can go where you please and no one can stop you. They cannot even see you because you will be moving more swiftly than any rifle bullet as far as they are concerned. You can steal all these things and bring them to me before anyone notices that the first is gone. No, don't turn it off until I've gone. Just listen to me so you won't make any mistakes. All of these items are in the museum. You are to collect them together and place them on the spot marked on this map. When you have finished, I will give you another $100,000. Well, it, uh, it seems all right. Uh, what about the timing? You see this clock dial? It doesn't set for normal time. It's adjusted to allow for the accelerator field. I shall be in the museum to meet you when that indicates 4 o'clock. You must have everything ready by then. A moment afterwards will be too late. Don't see any snags unless this little gadget here breaks down. Oh, you can rely on it, I promise you that. One other thing. Yes? Well, these things are scattered all over the museum. I'll need someone to help me collect them. So you'll need a second accelerator bracelet for an accomplice. Oh, yes. A reasonable request. I was prepared for it. Anyone wearing this can be matched to your time scale merely by turning it on so you can work together. Well, that's fine. But remember one thing. Don't go closer than five feet to anyone, or the accelerator will speed them up too, and they will be able to see you. That's the only danger you have to guard against. I see. Then you are to return both bracelets to me when I give you the balance of your fee. Now, are there any questions? Yes. One more thing. Who are you? That, Mr. Judson, is no concern of yours. Call me a collector.
one hundred thousand dollars. I think I can make even a better deal than that. Who's that? Henry, Henry Judson. Okay, come on in. Listen, Tony, I've got something for you right up your alley. Listen, it's an easy job, very fast, no problems, and $5,000. What do you say? Like to help you, but I got a little job of my own to do this afternoon. <laughs> All right, then, make it 10000 This is big, Tony, real big. Sorry. Hey, why don't you get Steve Regan? He'll do it. Oh, Steve's stupid. I need somebody with brains. I can't make a chance on a slip up. Ten G's and no risk. All you have to do is come with me to help me pick up a few pictures and books and absolutely no risk. Pictures and books? Hmm? Hey, maybe you and me are in the same business, huh? You wouldn't be paying a little visit to the public library this afternoon, would you? Well, don't tell me that you... Don't tell me that you have a little, uh, shopping list, too. <laughs> I got something even better than that. <laughs> well, what do you know about that? Well, there are going to be a lot of uh, disappointed art lovers in this city tomorrow. I better get a hold of Steve right away before one of the other fellows gets you, huh? Yep. Looks like our business is getting a real shot in the arm. Tell me one thing, Tony. Was it a woman who came and made this deal with you? Nah, some guy. Funny accent. Couldn't place it. Looks like this nation's going to lose all of its art bad things in, in one fell swoop. <laughs> something colossal is going on. I wonder who she understood it. And how many of them are behind it? Collector, she calls herself. Who's she collecting for? I wouldn't know, and I don't care. I ain't particular who I work for, as long as I get what's coming to uh, me. Oh, that's your trouble, Tony. No curiosity, no imagination. I got enough to know that one of these here bracelets is worth a fortune. So I'll just take yours, Harry. Oh, Tony. Come on, now, give it to me. No double talk. Just do as I say, huh, baby? Oh. All right, if that's the way you want it. <laughs> oh, poor Tony, you can't even see me now that I'm outside this five-foot circle. Did you forget about that? <laughs> well, that's right. You can't even hear me. I'm just talking to myself. Let's see. Whoops! <laughs> oh, yes. Just as I say. No imagination. Before we bring you the second act of All the Time in the World, starring Esther Ralston, I'd like to bring in a little music for you to listen to. Hear that? Huh? Sure, the rhythm of the karaoke, it's a warm, lilting kind of a strain. Sort of different, and very pleasing to the ear. And if you'll just take a look at Karaoke, which is the newest beauty blend cotton broadloom created by Maslin, you'll find that it too is a little different and very pleasing to the eye. Karaoke hits a high note in style and carries the current trend in carpeting, a fine cotton broadloom. You see, Karaoke features an attractive loop pile of tightly twisted cotton yarns, and that guarantees an element of richness for your home and, of course, the durable quality which typifies all Maslin products. And remember, too, that you get richer, brighter colors with cotton carpeting because the cotton yarn is extraordinarily adaptable to the dye process. Now, that makes possible a real technicolor variety for you to choose from. Now, let's see. Perhaps you'd like karaoke in lipstick red or cinnamon. How about jasmine yellow or quartz green? Karaoke is available in many other shades, and they're all designed to brighten any room or fit into any color scheme. Another feature of karaoke, and an important one, is this plasticized backing. That hugs the floor and eliminates all those dangerous slips and skids. Here's a really great buy. Karaoke is only about $5.95 a square yard. And isn't that a pleasant tune these days? Be sure to see Karaoke, a cotton beauty blend broadloom by Maslin, makers of fine carpets for more than four generations. And now the second act of All the Time in the World. Starring Esther Ralston. Yeah, this 
sort of change my luck, huh? A wheel of fortune. Hey, Joe. Come on, man. One more time. <laughs> if I lose, I'll give you a bet in a bowl game. Sing it to me, baby. Sing it pretty. Hey. Pretty sexy. Once more. Five ones. There we go. Hey, what's the matter? Send that in the jukebox, Joe. See if you can fix it. Hey, Joe. Hey, man, what's the matter? You deaf or something? Man, yeah, look, what, what's going on around here? Hello, Steve. Oh. Hi, Henry. Hey, what, what's going on around here? Oh, just a little trick of mine. Yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, are you a magician? <laughs> hey. Can you do the one where you make all the goldfish turn into rabbits? <laughs> I saw a guy do this one. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, Steve, but I can show you how to turn a picture into money. Well, listen, Pops, I'm with you. Come on, let's see that one. <laughs> I'd like to do a little job for me. There's 10,000 in it for you. I want to see. You say 10 Gs? Hmm? What's the catch? There isn't one. It's the easiest job you've ever had. Look, I'm going to lift some pictures from the museum. I know that you've got the tools for the job in case I run into any difficulties. Oh, sure, man. You know me. I got my usual work, you know. But uh, well, I always make uh, concessions for uh, important clients. The only thing is, Henry, that's a little risky. I never touch one of these museum places. It's loaded with cops. Besides, you can't get rid of the stuff. <laughs> I can. One thousand dollars. Want to dance? Hey, Henry, look. Put this stuff away. Somebody might see it. <laughs> Don't fear that. Why, Steve, even you must have noticed that things have gotten a little uh, quiet around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they sure Well, have. that ball game you were watching seems to have stuck in the groove. Something must be wrong with the set, huh? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, man? Are you dead or something? <laughs> Hey, look, Henry, what's going on around here? Uh, listen, Steve, it's already very simple. You know how these scientists are always inventing new gadgets? Well, I've got a beauty, one of the first. Now, there aren't many around yet. We've got to use this while there's a chance. What's that? That's the gadget. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that don't look like nothing. They ain't even platinum. They're silver. I bet you Frank Defense wouldn't give you a saw bucket. <laughs> Frank Defense would give his right arm for it. Now don't ask me where I got it or how it works. When it's switched on, it makes you move so fast that you can't even be seen. Why? Why, why, that, 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 that ball game that, that you've been watching, why, it's, why, you can even go right through the, the First National Bank and be out in five minutes before anybody knew what, that you'd even been in there. Why, that, that TV set, that ball game is still going on. We're moving so fast it seems to have stopped. Why, if you... Waited here for the next two years while well, you might see the next strike. But we've got more important things to do. Oh, Henry, I, I don't know. Man, you're, you're talking too smooth for Oh, me. sure, it's a little difficult to get used to at first, but... What's this? Just to give you an idea. Just a little sample. Show you how it works. <laughs> hey. Did you say 10 G's? Hmm? Well, Pops, I'm with you. <laughs> ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, Henry. This is stealing. Well, Joe's a friend of mine. Something we're lost standing right Stephen, there. you've forgotten. We're moving so fast that we're just a blur to him. Man, I... I don't dig this at all. You have to dig it. Just do your job. Well, what is it? It's a Picasso. Yeah? It's worth a fortune. Well, it's, it's okay with me. Just so long as that dough's on the line. Uh, well, put in the pile the rest of the things. We're almost finished with this. Oh, I've always wanted to see this picture. Hope there's not too big a crowd around it. Steve, give me a hand with this, will you? Ah, oh, Henry, now this is different. You see that? This I understand. <laughs> yeah. Or do I? Doesn't matter. You understand the money. Yeah. 
Just keep that wheel of fortune rolling, huh? <laughs> say not a bad second's work. I guess she ought to be along to collect this stuff in any moment now if I understand this little clock gadget, right? Hey, she must be quite a dame. I'd like to meet up with her. <laughs> I doubt if the feeling would be mutual. What do you mean? Oh, no, skip it. Oh, here. Here's the rest of your money. Oh, now, yeah. give me that bracelet that you're wearing. Yeah, you can have it. Man, this thing gives me the creeps. <laughs> well, look, Henry, I'll, I'll see you around. Eh? Well, how'd you get here? Does it matter? Considering what we do with the time, our mastery of space should not surprise you. Well, then there is more than one of you. Yes, but unfortunately not enough. Otherwise, we wouldn't need agents. Like myself. Precisely. Just as a matter of interest, uh, how many of the nation's art treasures will be missing by the end of the day? Would you rather not talk? Oh, you underestimate us. Your country is only one field of operation. The British Museum, the Louvre, the Prado. We've dealt with them all. But enough of this. Let's get back to your office and finish up. That suits me fine. Oh, what about these items? What do you do with those? They're all taken care of, Mr. Judson. They will be transported to my time without any trouble. Well, they're gone. Quite. But where? How? There's no concern of yours. You've done your job. Now let's get back to the office and finish up. Accelerator. I don't have much time. <laughs> this thing's got me. I don't know much about science, but this little gadget who invented it anyway. Why, it seems far ahead of anything I've ever seen. You surprise me. For a man in your business, you ask a great many questions. <laughs> you aren't just an ordinary thief. There's a large organization behind you, but these things that you're taking there, well, they're priceless, but you can't sell them. I don't I'm not I'm interested in selling them. I'm a collector. <laughs> That's what you said before. What a collection. I think I'd like to get into the business. I'm afraid you're too late. Our work here is done. You mean you're leaving? I'm going back to my time, to safety. Now, if you'll give me the bracelet, I'll give you the rest of your money. Oh. Yes. Well, well, here's the, uh, one that Steve wore. And, um, oh, look. Let's, uh, let, let's, let's make a little deal. Let's, uh, just forget about the rest of the cash. I don't know how long these things work on one charge, but... Well, I've been thinking it over, and I think I'd like to keep the bracelet. I see you're smart enough to realize they're worth more than money. I suppose you think it will make you rich. Well, that's about it. How do you know it will keep working? Tomorrow it may pu prove valueless. Well, I'll take that gamble. I don't think you'll cross me. I'm not in the habit of deceiving people. That bracelet will operate as long as you live. Well, that's all I want to know. Is it a deal? You must have lots of these things. You won't just miss one. No, we wouldn't miss one. But are you quite sure you will be satisfied with this? Oh, yes, it works every time I want it to. You can rely on that. Very well, keep the bracelet. And don't thank me. I find the situation amusing. Oh, one more thing. You asked me where I came from and what I've been doing here. Oh, yes, without getting anywhere. I'm afraid you're due for a shock. I have come here from a thousand years in the future. A thousand years in the future. Surely you do not think the science of your time could produce this. And you're stripping the present of everything you can lay your hands on? Oh, not quite, Mr. Judson, not quite. Don't think of us merely as thieves. Our mission here has been to save some of humanity's greatest treasures before it is too late. Too late? Yes, even we cannot interfere with mm. what is inevitable. Well, what do you mean? See for yourself. Haven't you read your own newspaper? You don't mean the end of the world. I'm afraid it is. That new bomb will be exploded in less than one minute. It will destroy the entire world. Nothing can change the future now. 
Well, this bracelet's useless. On the contrary, if you wish, you can be the only man on earth who will die of old age. You have only to leave that field operating, and for you and you alone, time will stand still. But switch it off, and the world ends. The choice is yours. And now I must go back to my companions. Goodbye, Mr. Judson. And thank you. Believe it. The world will end in a few seconds. Well, how much longer have I got? Of course. As long as I leave this switch down, I'm safe. The world may end in a few moments, but I can stretch that into a lifetime with this. to speak to another human being again. They'll all be like statues. Unless I switch off the field, but then... Oh, no. It's a vicious circle. I've got to think this thing out. i to decide. Have a cigarette. Take it out. Take your time. There's no hurry. No rush. Plenty of time to make up my mind. Plenty of time. All the time in the world. So we end another Tale of Tomorrow. And before I tell you about next week's story, I'd like, if you don't mind, just a word about Ballerina, another member of the Maslin Quality family. Ballerina is a Maslin Beauty Blend Broadloom whose functional modern texture add to its long life and graceful beauty. Ballerina, a completely new Beauty Blend Broadloom, can be yours in three lovely colors, gray, green, and beige, in widths up to 12 feet. A ballerina's textured quality shrugs off footprints and retains its shining new appearance, bringing everlasting beauty to your home. Ballerina is available at only about $9.95 a square yard. Real proof provided by C.H. Maslin & Sons that you can buy quality broadlooms at a reasonable price. True luxury at the lowest cost. And of course, Maslin means top quality in workmanship, backed by four generations of making carpets and rugs. Now look, why don't you visit your Maslin dealer and ask to see it for yourself. Ballerina, another fine Maslin Beauty Blend Broadloom. Here is real fashion magic, the expansion watch band that transforms any woman's watch into a modern bracelet watch. It's Golden Fantasy by Chrysler. Think of it, a bracelet watch usually costs $50 or more, but Golden Fantasy gives you this same style for only $9.95, tax included. So go to your jeweler, ask him to show you Golden Fantasy. See for yourself how Chrysler makes news in watch bands. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in New York, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.